wet mop, mop, 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 wet mop. Put that shit on the mop. Mop, 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 what it do, broski? It's your boy Davy, Matt Fly, Two Wise, and your host of Foot Locker's Wig of Greatness, man. You know what I'm saying? Kicking it live from the Mob Museum. Coming right back with a whole nother banger, broski. You know what I mean? As you can see, man, the visual's kind of getting spicy on this side, and I've been trying to stay as consistent as possible, man, with keeping y'all updated on the latest. We definitely about to hop into them eights, because, boy, it's levels to the heat when it comes to them, man. Like, yo, <laughs> these eights are different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I, and I want to know y'all opinion on them as well. But before we hop into those, man, one of the homies dropped these off. And you want my opinion on them, you know what I'm saying? You wanted to know what I thought, I'm assuming. That's why he dropped them off. It's the Don C Converse collab. The Don ERX 260. <laughs> these are not bad. The box is like literally the dopest thing about it all. Packaging is amazing to me. Just done hit right there. Matter of fact, let me get you some up close on it. Let that focus in on it real quick for y'all. You can see the just done hit right there. Converse right here. Top of the box. Is there anything else? It's a size 12. It is not my size, bro. I guess the homie just dropped it off and wanted to see what I had to say about them. So, man, let's open them up and check them out. And here go the kicks, man. I'm sitting one on top of the box. And we're gonna go through the other one. In hand. Yeah, let's jump straight into these boys, broski. So for sure, I can't just totally bash and trash this shoe. Color code 163717 C. I gotta give it a book, bro. These motherfuckers are ugly, bro. <laughs> bro, this look like something that you would see in City Trends and no knock on City Trends or anybody who shops in City Trends, but yeah, this look like a shoe that you would see in City Trends. Granted, this pony hair on here feels fucking amazing. There's some dope ass materials used. It's pony hair all over the shoe. Got some satin on the back. Some satin right here. Feel like the rubber or regular, regular rubber outsole. Standard. Inside, whoa. Inside satin, so they probably gonna be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Jump's probably gonna be dumb comfortable. What I do like is the height of it. I like how high the shoe is. You know what I'm saying? That's that's dope. And I like the silhouette. Like, this shoe is not a bad shoe. The colorway and the color placement just trash. I don't, this shit is ugly to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just because it got Don C on it don't make it cool to me. And Don C haven't been doing bad work this year. I don't feel like the, the Jordan Legacy 312s are bad shoes either. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't know, bro. You can't just throw somebody's name on the shoe and get me to ooh and I and go buy it. Like, I would never spend my money on this shit. Let me, let, let's check out a little bit of backstory before I throw them up and we hop into them eights, man. Now he's tasked, he's, meaning the Don C. Now Don C is tasked with relaunching the Converse ERX. Damn, I don't know what I've been saying the whole time. I probably said EXT or ERT. I don't know what the fuck I've been saying, but... Now he's tasked with relaunching the Converse ERX, a basketball shoe from the 80s and his childhood memory along with matching apparel. Dunn's put his signature, just done touch, <laughs> on the high top sneaker. It has white pony hair, gold upper gold jewels on the Converse Chevron logo, and the cons on the tongue is replaced with Dunn's, an uh, ode to his work on the shoe, so. Yeah, okay, what I will say, like, it say cons right here, right? Do this one say cons? It say dons on the box. Hold up, why? Okay, it say dons right here. Okay, cool. I like that colorway and the color placement of this logo, you know what I'm saying? That look pretty dope. That look pretty spicy. But all in all, my nigga, like, no, we not doing this, bro. I'm <laughs> We are not doing this one. Mm-mm. 
I'm going ahead and put these back in the box, bro. I appreciate you every time you drop out kicks for visuals and all that shit, man. Like, I don't want to be ungrateful for the gesture. You know what I'm saying? Happy holidays and salute to you too, bro. School. Hell nah, these definitely ain't it. Hell yeah, them eights though. Let's talk about them eights though, bro. Cause hey, them shit's crazy looking, man. For it to be just a GR and just for it to be just a women's exclusive, bro. Them motherfuckers special, man. They coming with some with some razzle dazzles all over that shoe, bro. Them eights hot, man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's get into a little bit of backstory on those real quick. Why the B-roll playing, of course. I'm guessing the official name is the Air Jordan 8 GS Snowflake. And these motherfuckers are fire. Just like off the base of it look like a Kentucky like Jordan 8. But you got this holographic material going over the overlays and the straps, broski. That shit looks hard and hand. You can just look at it and twist and turn and you know what I mean? That joint look crazy, broski. And you got the snowflakes on there, which is not bad at all. I kind of wish like the snowflakes would rub off, cause that would make that shoe dope. You know how they got like on the um the red fours, them, them the Chinese uh singles day fours, right? We could rub the materials off. Just imagine around the holiday times when they come out, of course the shoe come with the snowflakes on it, but they make the snowflakes rub away, and then you're left with just the base shoe. That'll be hot, man. Please, somebody from Nike and Jordan Brand, if you're listening and thinking, start doing that with, like, the seasonal shoes, my guy. Like, it's clear y'all like to play with rubber wear material, so just do it with the seasonal joints. Give us a dope-ass base and, you know what I'm saying, whatever the seasonal direction or the seasonal design is, make that to be rubbing away. So around when it's holiday time, dudes can get it off, get the picture off, you know what I'm saying? Rock that joint, then we left with a real dope shoe. That concept is literally all y'all need to be doing with rubber ray materials and rubber ray paint jobs. But yeah, I kind of wish that thing was applied to this shoe. Cause man, I might would have to jump out there, broski. The Air Jordan 8 GS exclusive lineup will be expanding with more colorways this holiday season, and it includes this Air Jordan 8. The basketball sneaker gets a snowy festive thing with a snowflake print covering the upper, featuring a mix of blue and white all logo. The model is also detailed with a patent leather crisscross straps featuring a blizzard-like fade into an icy look. Okay, so it's patent look, Bro, like in my hand, it didn't even look like patent leather. I wouldn't. I still don't believe that's Pat Love. Finally, a navy and white rubber sole tops off the look. But yeah, man. This shit's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I might have to grab them for Chicky Bees. I'ma show them to them and I hope young Chicky Bees like these joints. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if y'all gonna grab them for y'all kids or if you can feel them again, would y'all grab them for yourself? In other news, bro, I actually hit on the raffle for the Sesame's, but shit. I woke up at like 1 o'clock, then I went on the Foot Locker app and seen that you could still add them to cart, bro. I was like, nah, I'm like, I ain't even gonna waste no gas. Like, you know what I'm saying? At this point, it was 1 o'clock and it was reviews out already, so. Yeah, man. Y'all boys eat them up. Y'all can have them. I really don't want to get like my account dinged. Don't know how that works. Y'all let me know if y'all ever hit on the store. And you don't go pick it up, did that affect your um account negatively or not? You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. Cause this would be my first time hitting and not picking the shoe up, but bro, I was not finna waste my gas on them joints, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather watch our reviews on these. I watch our reviews and on foots and all that. And let me know how y'all feel about those as well. The Sesame Yeezy 350s. I'm straight super cool on them. But yeah, man, we're gonna get up out of here, bro. See? Cause yeah, y'all already know we coming with some more visuals tomorrow. You know what I mean? Shout out to my good people over there, Foot Locker man. You know what I'm saying? This has been helping the channel so much, man. Shout out to my little bro Bull again for the collab, bro. That definitely was a nice little spring pad and put us back in the direction where we needed to be. Shout out to my little bro Tony D for all the game and you know what I'm saying? We be kicking, chatting it up behind the scenes, man. Keeping me level headed, keeping me cool minded. You know what I'm saying? Keeping me focused, motivated to stay on the ground on the E-Boys. So yeah, bro. 
Appreciate all the love from all my homies in the game, man. Everybody who been supporting the channel, y'all gotta fuck with Pillars Ave, fuck with the Ave. I've been telling y'all over and over again, man. My homies been going in, but yeah, that's it. We out of here, broski. On the mall, stay up. In California, man, I'm still with these random ass guys. I don't know these folks, man. <laughs> Ma, ma, wet, ma, ma, wet, ma, ma, wet.